sit on the edge of the bench. Before you take them down underneath the bar, they need to learn exactly what we were just talking about, shoulder blade retraction. Out of all of the uh, fuck ups in a bench press, people not retracting their shoulder blades is the most common thing. And believe it or not, a lot of people can't do it like without extensive coaching. Um, and you wouldn't realize that until you've coached a lot of people on the bench. So shoulder blade retraction is when you pull your shoulder blades all the way together, pinch them together like you're trying to squeeze my finger, but also we want to pack them. So keep them together, but at the same time, shove them down, make your neck long. Notice how this brought his chest up. Your, your thoracic spine's going into extension, right? Just like your back should be when you're benching. Put your arms out in front. Now this is really what fucks people up. Keep your arms long, pinch your shoulder blades together, and shove them down. Give me a big chest and an arch back. This is how your back needs to be the entire time you're benching. At no point should this change, okay? So whether you're at the bottom, bend your elbows, imagine, yep. Now, when you're coming down, you should be getting this tighter and like fixing anything that you fucked up. But as you're pressing up, do not let go of my finger. So extend your arms. Do not let go of me. Yep. You got a little bit loose, but that's, that's normal. That's okay. Most people just completely open up and they can't keep this tight. I do not understand it, but it happens more often than you think. Okay. So we keep this here. Chest is always rising. Always. Okay, so let's lay down. Now for the beginner, they don't know where they grab the bar. You don't really know where they're gonna end up grabbing the bar when they're more advanced and experienced. So we just start off real neutral. I need you to take a, a hand width distance grip away from the smooth. So about this far away from the smooth of the bar. So he's going with a thumb distance. I want you to go wider than that. This bar is weird. Is this like, well, I think it's, foam it's got right weird now. markings on it. Okay. So we're gonna say pointer fingers on the okay. rings here. <laughs> so for you, this is gonna be like a hand and a half distance. Cause this is not a normal barbell. Okay. Now, once you set their grip, you gotta set the rest of their body. I need you to slide down the bench. Do not let go of this bar. Slide down until your eyes are on this side of the barbell. Can you sleep? Slide, 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 keep going. There you go. Now, while he's sliding, that's also building up that arch and getting him real tight too. But you don't have to tell him that. Okay, now his eyes are on this side. This is gonna help him never accidentally fuck up and hit the J-hooks. If you just put your eyes on this side of the bar. We don't need any of that fuckery, okay? Okay, now, make sure your back is arch as it can possibly be. Shove your feet, your whole foot, not your toes, your whole foot into the floor. Okay, once you're, once you're uh, big and strong and, if you, and you've been doing this for longer than a few sessions, you can come up on your toes. But right now you have no idea what's going on. Flat feet, arched back, okay? Try to pull your shoulder blades together a little bit. <laughs> Disclaimer here, you're never gonna get your shoulders as set as you can until you've actually unracked it. So once we unrack it, we're not gonna press yet. We're gonna finish setting up your shoulders, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's make sure your grip is perfect. Make that diamond like we did in the military press. So open up your fingers. Good, make sure the bar is low, low in your grip, okay? Wrap your fingers around the bar. So that made his elbows come out a little bit and that's fine. Take a big breath into your chest, tighten up your abs, extend your elbows, unrack it. And then we're gonna guide them out into their lockout. They need to know this is lockout. A lot of people wanna say this is lockout. Your lockout point should be, come back, directly over the front delts, this joint right here. Because from the side, we want to see a nice vertical arm, okay? We don't want to create any extra torque on the shoulder at lockout. So lockout's always over that shoulder joint. <clears throat> now we're going to help them get more packed, okay? So squeeze your shoulder blades together more and shove them down. Squeeze here. Good. Then you show them what leg drive is. You're gonna block their shoulders. This is also gonna give them extra time just to get tired and be in lockout. You feel that? Mm -hmm. I want you to put your feet flat on the floor and I want you to drive your shoulders into my hands without raising your butt. Drive into me. 
Good. You feel that? Mm -hmm. You feel your glutes light up and your quads light up? Do it again. Push me. Okay? That's called leg drive. And I need you to do that the entire set, especially when you drive this off your chest. Okay? <clears throat> get that thing arched up. Get it tight. Flex your lats a little bit for me. Big breath. And you want to show them where they're going to touch. This is your touch point right here at the very bottom of that sternum, right here. Lower down, touch that point, and come back up. Good. He didn't hit lockout perfectly. So what you do here is, I want you to pick a leaf on that tree, or say it's the ceiling in the gym. Pick a leaf that's right here in front of the bar. Blur this barbell in your vision and find a leaf to stare at. You good? Mm -hmm. Take a big breath, brace up, point that bar right there. Keep your eyes on that leaf. Come back up. Good. Take a big breath, reset those shoulders every time. Big breath, press. Good. Don't pause at the bottom, just barely tap your t-shirt. Don't touch your chest, just your t-shirt. Big breath, tap your t-shirt, come back up to that leaf. Good. One more, big breath. Just your t-shirt. Up. Good. And rack it. Good. Okay. One of the most important things about any lift, like we've talked about before, is tension in the bottom position. Obviously building tension before you do anything, but especially in the bottom. Just like if you get loose at the bottom of a press or a squat, Driving the bar back up ain't gonna be pretty. So without going into too much detail with your with your new lifter or whatnot, if you just tell them to touch their t-shirt and not their chest, they're going to be tight in the bottom. They're just instinctively going to control that bar a lot better. They're gonna keep their back tight. They're gonna keep their arch tighter. They're gonna be more mindful. They're not gonna smack themselves in the chest. What do you have to do in order to just dive bomb a rep and just recklessly slap yourself with the bar. You have to get loose. If you just tell them to pack your t-shirt, they'll do exactly what you want them to do. Anyone else want to run through that real quick? I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, sit down on the bench. Put your arms out straight. Oh, oh. sit up. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't know anything. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Put your arms out. Okay, now without bending your elbows, pull your shoulder blades together. Good, now shove them down together. Put your shoulder blades in your back pockets. See, she's having trouble keeping her arms straight. Now, that's pretty good. Shove them down. Yeah, look at that. You just gained an inch on your neck. Okay, that's good. So notice back is arched, chest is up, shoulder blades are down, squeeze your lats. Good. You wanna keep this happening the whole time you're benching, okay? All right. Lay down. You're gonna take your grip on the bar about one hand distance away from the smooth. So let's let's grab it at the smooth. Okay, now now look look at where your hands leave off. Mm -hmm. I want you to put your hands here. So come out. Boom. Okay. Okay. Open up your hands. Point your thumbs down. So we're remember when we do this, thumbs down, make a diamond. Okay. Put your palm on it. Remember, that's getting the bar low in your grip, okay? Now, can you put your feet flat? Yes, you can. Okay, feet are flat. Back is arched, but your eyes are like a mile away from the bar. I just want them slightly in front, so slide this way. Good, that's good. Yeah, that's gonna make it easier for you to unrack. You don't wanna have to unrack it from back here. Yeah. Feet flat, back arched, Try to pack your shoulders, but know that you can't fully set them up until you've unracked. Okay. okay? Shove the base of your palms into the barbell. Oh. Tight grip. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get braced, because this weighs 500 pounds. So you have to brace. Take a big breath into your abs, big chest, and brace this off the rack. Good. Now, we're gonna move it into your lockout point, which is more forward than you think it is. Remember, it's directly over your front delts. Okay, get those wrists straight. There, good. Make sure this is tight. Make sure your feet are shoved into the floor. Show me some leg drive. Push into my hands. Not with your shoulders, pack your shoulders. 
Pack your shoulders first. Set that back up, get this tight. Now use your legs, push the ground away from you into me. There you go. Keep these tight, push, good, okay? I need you to have that sort of forward or backward sliding intention. I don't want you to slide down the bench, mm -hmm. but driving in that direction, okay? Now, are you as tight as you can be here? Are you as arched as you can be? Yeah. Is your grip as tight as it can be? I think so. <laughs> Here, here's your touchdown point, okay? Big breath, big chest, tap your tank top right there. Up, good. Now, let's get your bar pass straighter. And the way you're gonna get that bar pass straighter is finding somewhere to look. So blur the bar in your vision and find a leaf that's right where my finger is. Okay. Stare at that, okay? Pack your shoulders, press. Now, I want you to come down slower. Okay. I don't care how fast you press this, I'm not impressed. Hold on, right here. I want you to lower down slow when I say go, so you can let go of your air. Okay. You're gonna touch right here. Just barely touch the fabric of your tank top. So I need control on the way down. Okay. Big breath, light tap. Good, and instantly better control, right? Y'all so sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that was about an hour, an hour and 15, hour and a half. And we just barely scratched the surface on all these lifts. We, we, we could talk about each one of these lifts and all their nuanced little cues and errors and blah, 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 blah for four hours a piece. So um, I don't know exactly what the schedule is later on. Well, but uh, a pretty good amount of time at like 1.30. So we we'll come back over here. For those who can be testing uh, their one reps, that's just just the people who are testing who already passed the run. We're going to run them through all their one reps real quick, and then um, however many people want to lift, we'll split it up between here um, and the, the Thunderdome, and uh, we'll probably do like two lifts out there and two lifts out here and give people the option of where they want to be, um, and then we can probably, yeah, just get jacked for like an hour and a half. Cool. Any, any bench press questions before we break? Make my job easy. The uh, the foot placement. You saying that's that's going to depend on their uh, you know their growth as a lifter and, and what's going to fit for them. But a what, lot of these things that we won't ever do. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, you know, direction for like finding so, out what's going to work for you. I want the foot placement that allows me to have stability, but also really good leg drive. So I want that directional drive. I don't just want pressure on the ground to stabilize me. Because I can get that and leg drive at the same time. A lot of people's leg drive is just sterile and dead. It's just down. I want down and forward. Because if I can transfer some force into that bar, then my bar is going to move faster and I can move more weight. Have you ever seen those uh, power lifters who actually bring it down and like bend their fucking rib cage and then buck it back up? You seen that? Their leg drive has to be this way. They're using their whole body to bench. They're benching like it's a full contact sport, which it is at that point. Uh, I'd say in a very general, broad way to make your bench the strongest it can possibly be, just like all the other lifts, use as much of your body as you can. Stop making this about your chest. Stop making it about your arms. Stop making it about your upper body. It's a full body lift, just like the standing presses, just like the deadlift and the squat. So your foot placement needs to be set, in my opinion, where you can get the best directional leg drive. So I would say that I don't get very good directional leg drive like this. I just stub my toe. But if I'm out here and my heels are more underneath my knees and I than underneath my butt, and I can actually feel that push backwards. Again, that backwards push gets transferred into the bar. I don't want to co-opt you too much there, yeah. but like one of the worst things that you'll see dudes do on the bench, and one of the reasons why once the bench gets heavy, you always see guys' asses come off the bench, which is an automatic fucking no lift and you're screwing up with the they get a weird foot placement on it. And so instead of driving towards the top, towards your head, they just 
pick up and they put the hip up into it to turn it into a decline press because you have more power this way than you do this way. And so if you're at a position where you feel your butt coming off, you should probably change your foot placement so that you can get more drive this way and not just this way. Right. And that's not really helping a whole lot anyways. Yeah. And it's not a lift. And, and I, I've, I've fixed people, whatever you would call it, yeah. butt cheating, um, just by getting their yeah, foot placement. <laughs> Yeah, just change your foot placement if your butt keeps flying up. Because your feet are what's causing the butt to come up, right? If you didn't have legs or feet, you wouldn't be going anywhere with your butt. So, uh, I liked what you said on the top of the t-shirt one too, because that's the other, the second thing that you see that most people do, right, is every time you see some fucking Instagram video of a guy and he's like, got a rip today at 315 and he's like ah! <laughs> and like obviously it's it's a stupid way to train too because when you're that loose that's how you tear your shoulders out and so i'm kind of waiting with schadenfreude to, to watch those dudes get injured um but like it's also really hard to get a, a really good finished press if you're not fucking mm -hmm. tight in your front. right it's like squatting and your hamstrings and glutes go completely limp yeah. you're fucked you're not standing up so if the bar is going down you should be getting tight, no matter what the lift is. What's the difference muscular-wise between lifting your butt off the seat and somebody working with their back? Well, the horseshoe, the, the, same, the, the horseshoe isn't back. Isn't they're just using the same lower chest? Like, they're just more flexible? In, in, a, in a way, that's exactly it really, yeah, I mean, you have some of those girls with, like, Gumby spines. They are basically doing a decline press. And it doesn't matter if they yeah, raise their butt. Their butt is already off the Well, yeah, like, I mean, it, it's still technically connected to the bench, and that's really, like, technicality in the sport. Right. They're basically putting themselves into whatever yeah. position the sport will allow them to get away with to move the maximum amount of weight the shortest distance. Well, it, 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 it's like when, when people squat a deadlift. Right. right? It's like, what it comes down to is, are you trying to win a competition or are you trying to train your back? Because you're not going to train your back by squatting a deadlift. You know I mean? So it's like, what do you want to train? Right, but you can guarantee when you see dudes run like a 900 pound sumo, they're fucking all the way out. You know, like the, all those, the Duffin, like sumo deadlift dude, his feet are like touching the plate mm -hmm. because it's the shortest distance yep. to move the weight. You know? yep. And technically, it's a lift. Yeah. But like, yeah. Do whatever you got to do to win the competition, whatever it's legal. You haven't made yourself strong. Right. Yeah. But if you assume they're like 900, you're probably pretty strong. Right? Yeah. 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 You, you've probably trained well. Yeah. yeah. 900 pounds on anything, you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> 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 cool. No well, no I think that's it, unless anyone else, else has any questions about the big four. Who the fuck is Jen Thompson? Thanks so much. Who? <laughs> Jen Thompson. Do I need to know who that is? She well, she benches like what 325 at 125. Oh pounds. yeah, yeah, these like really strong ladies that can. She bench doesn't more have. Than she me. doesn't have like that ultra flexible. What does that work out to percentage wise? That's like a little over half, a little over twice. Yeah, really like twice your body weight. It's just, it's like I, I swear she's got alien DNA. I bench, yeah. I bench way over twice my body weight. I just, I just thought I was normal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> time and effort. Just blame it on genetics. Yeah, yeah. She's, a <laughs> she's probably she's done. A freak. She's Anyone probably stronger than you, Chris. Yeah. Just be like a genetic. Yeah. Freak. There's probably <laughs> drugs. <laughs> in it. But you know, there is something to say for uh, just the amount of reps you put into anything. Yeah. Like people who are better at reading than you, they read more than you. You know, people are better than cooking than you, they have more cooking reps. You know, it's just reps, reps, reps. <laughs>